AI Garden Wise, a Q&A AI for urban gardening guidance. Hi, my name is Gabriela and I live in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. I'm an engineer and applied researcher specializing in developing machine learning models for applications in nuclear energy and related areas. The project I developed in the CAGOX fellowship program was inspired by the increasing challenge of food insecurity due to global population growth. As of 2023, 20% of the African population, 8% of the Asian population, and 6% of the Latin American and Caribbean populations face hunger. This translates to over 700 million people worldwide who are undernourished. Last year, we reached a total of 2.32 billion food insecure people, an astonishing 29% of the world's population. In 2015, the United Nations issued an urgent call to action for all countries and launched 17 Sustainable Development Goals. Four of these goals connected our project to the critical issue of food insecurity. With SDG 2 and hunger, achieve food security, improve nutrition, and promote sustainable agriculture, forming the foundation of our project. So, what's our project about? AI Garden Wise aims to increase food production autonomy for individuals facing food insecurity. Home and community gardens are expanding across Brazil and Latin America, and our project seeks to offer an easy, accessible tool to provide information and guidance on optimal gardening practice nutritional facts and health protective benefits as well. The dedicated chatbot provides guidance on sustainable practices, nutritional education, storage and preservation tips, recipe suggestions and other useful features. The data science techniques applied included data selection and criteria for choosing quality data, data pre-processing to fine-tune the model, selecting the best framework and base LLM model with computational capacity in mind, choosing and adjust fine-tuning techniques such as LoRa, and finally, selecting the appropriate evaluation metrics. The lessons learned include data curation, understanding transformers and the gem architecture, differences between pre-training and fine-tuning, hyperparameter tuning, performance metrics, resource management libraries and platforms, and real-world project implementation. The data was collected from specialized gardening websites, as well as nutrition and health websites. I used Google Colab for testing, Kaggle for full-scale model fine-tuning, evaluation, and saving the model and data sets, and Keras for defining, training, and deploying the LLM. The fine-tuning process applied the LoRa technique, making training faster and more memory efficient, reducing GPU memory usage and accelerating the training process. Well, as you can see in the metrics results, our model still fall short of our desired performance. We are facing several challenges. Our data sets limited. Our computing capacity is constrained, allowing us to fine tune the model for just one epoch. And our lower rank is set at four, which also limits fine tuning results. Additionally, we should consider adopting alternative evaluation methods. Despite the poor model evaluation, as you can see in these three examples, the responses contain accurate information. This leads me to believe that I should consider improving evaluation methods to better capture these nuances. Here are the project links. The next steps are expanding and improving our data set, incorporating conversational features, enhancing evaluation methods, and developing an MVP application on site. Our sources. So I want to extend my heartfelt thanks to my mentors, Claudia and Andrea, and the CAGOX team. Thank you. Keep in touch.